We're with our Bristol United manager, John Gilza, after today's 3 0 draw against top of the Henry BDA. Just start us off with uh, your thoughts about the game with us today, John. Uh, a disappointing result uh, for the three, because we're, we're the first half, I thought we were brilliant back on it. Um, three one up at half time, and to an extent, I wouldn't say totally in control, but to an extent, control of the game, and looking like being very sort of dangerous to increase that 3 1 lead. Uh, I said to the players at half time in terms of what needed to be done second half, and, and, and we come out second half. And we were, wasn't on it, but it was the first half, and, and it resulted in giving uh, it going back to sort of three-two, uh, reducing it into a sort of one-goal deficit, and three-three on the goal last minute. Disappointing because we feel strongly, and I feel I don't normally say yes, it's a definite foul on the goalie. Uh, I don't see the footage again, but it's a definite push on our goalie. But it's it's a, it's a hammer blow. For two reasons, really. One, because you're free one up at half time, you don't end up, end up drawing 3 3. But it's the manner of how we draw 3 3 for me, it is the discipline in which it comes down to the feet. So, the positives today, you know, do you think that it's gotten after the way it ended? But there are, for me, there's positives, what positives do you see? Oh, there's, there's definitely positives in the game, like I said, first half, I thought we were it was fantastic. I thought um, Tom played in, 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 in the new role. Beyond the, beyond the strikers, I thought he was outstanding for a staff. Um, scored two goals as well. The, I mean, positives, Josh Gilbertson's back on the pitch. It's nice to see him get 90 minutes after being made off, sort of made off for, for two or three months with, with his injury. So that, that's a positive. But the old team, um, I thought we was, the first half, I thought we was excellent. Um, one big positive for me today was man of the match, Sam Morgan. I thought he was outstanding. First first half, second half, I thought they were really outstanding. And, um, that that's you know what you're gonna get with Sam in terms of the performances, but he never lets us down. But yeah, so yeah, I mean there is positives and then the result overall through three against top of the league's probably not that point. Um, but it's just a matter of how we've got that point when it should be free where it is this sort of disappointment. So you're looking forward now, obviously we started the season, um, you know, anyone that's following us can see that it ain't been started necessarily wrong here and we've had some things go against us, but taking that first half performance and knowing what we're capable of and looking in the next couple of weeks, we've got a couple of key players coming back. So how confident do you feel moving forward and what and you know what's your sort of ambitions and what you can see oh, so for, the, for the rest of the season, I mean and, and I think this is the sort of pressure we put on ourselves in reality we played for which is one one, draw one and lost two. Um, the the one one of those games we lost, we know it's a game that we lost for our own reasons. But um, it's not such a bad start what everybody's making out. But in terms of what we, myself as a manager, and what our team knows is we know we're good enough to go on and win this league or certainly get promotion. Um, my goal still hasn't changed. Um, probably twenty six games ish to go. Um, I, I still think we're I still think we're going to be up there. Um, like I said, we've got a 20 goal striker returning today. We've got uh, one of our best defenders still yet to return a couple of weeks away. And, and the lads is going to settle down. It's going to be a matter of time before we start clicking and, and settling down and winning games. It's, you can see the performances is there the last two two games. We'll be at the second half a bit iffy today. But um, if that's us being iffy and getting free free draw against top of the league, imagine when we start seeing our strike and settling down and playing well. Right? We're going to move up the league, so I'm, I'm, I'm ultimately still confident in that. Moment. So, uh, before we sign off, anything to say to the fans and the viewers watching on YouTube? Team, our fans, the millions of fans out there. Um, again, I know we had a big sort of turnout again on the watching us on the, on the sidelines today, and it says to thank them for, for sort of coming because they do well. Um, wives, mothers, girlfriends, grandparents, friends, family, they're all out there, and they do well. They do well when they're cheering the players on. And, that we're all, myself and anybody at the club are all grateful for that. But yeah, it's, it's to sort of stick with us because I said it's a little bit disappointing because we don't want to be um, top of the league at the moment and go along and having a great season. But we're going to get there. So it's a work in progress, which we've said. And if it is this season, I think it will be. If it's not next season, it'll be the season after. So just stick behind us because we're a club what's going places. Um, we've come from nothing within the space of 15 months. Um, it's, 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 we're going to have a good future um, in the club and this team as well. Yeah. Albeit sometimes they're going to play bad in our bad performances, but it's a young, really young team. 
and um, they're going to go places. They're going to develop and get better. But um, yeah, it's sort of just just stick with us at the moment because uh, it's not as bad as it it, it, it was made out, but it, it's going to get better and better. Thanks for your time, John. Thank you.